Hey guys, this is Tanisha Davis from the greatest travel and budget YouTube channel ever, the Fun and Budget Act. Alright, I'm dreaming right now. But I'm here to talk to you today about my experiences traveling through Vietnam and Cambodia for the Travel Fit Culture magazine. In Vietnam, the experience that stood out for me is crossing the street in Vietnam. I mean, because crossing the street in Vietnam is like an art form. It's like this amazing choreograph of cars and humans and everybody just going. And when you're crossing, like the whole idea is just to keep walking, keep walking. And amazingly, a car, motorbike, nothing hits you fitness wise, exercise wise. Okay, let me tell you, in Cambodia, right, there's 4,000, a little over 4,000 ancient temples. 2,000 of them have been discovered. We visited like 978 of them. You can't tell me we didn't. I know we did. So all I gotta say is in Cambodia, all you have to do is go and visit some ancient ruins. Not only do you get the wonderful beauty of the ambiance and wonderful setting and conversation pieces, but you can reach your 10,000 step count very easily, all right? In Vietnam, they actually have these outdoor exercise parks. These are like outdoor gyms. It's like a playground for adults. Actually, that's what I thought it was the first time I seen it. So we're walking and I see this playground and I'm like, oh, look at that. And it's like 9 p.m. at night. And when we go over, we see a lot of people, locals, exercising like adults. And I was like, oh my goodness. Question number four. What tips do you have for the readers to stay healthy while traveling? Good pair of walking shoes. Good pair of shoes. That is my tip. Walk from here to there. Get lost a little bit. And then also partake in some of the amazing meals. So in Cambodia, I was super adventurous. I actually stopped along the side of the road and tried something that I've never tried before. Pong Tia Kong or Pong Tia Kung. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. What it is, is baby duck egg fetuses. Also known as balut in some other parts of the world, but I tried it and it was so tasty and I really, really, really enjoyed that. One piece of advice, if I could give one piece of advice to anybody traveling to Asia, I would say have an open mind, a light step, and embrace the cultures with your arms wide, open. I'm Tanisha Davis, Fun and Budget Act. I'm out.